Hey, so good to be with you. And uh, whether you call Audacious home or you were just scrolling and thought, what an interesting face. I wonder what this guy's got to say. Well, I'm believing that uh, God's got something for you in what I'm about to share with you. That um, God has got an encouragement for you in your waiting, in your journey towards the miracle that God has for you. And um, to start off, I would love to share a testimony that a breakthrough that me and Abby, my wife, were believing for um, at the start of the year, coming into the start of 2022. And we were believing big. We were believing God for two new jobs um, that we would see my part time work um, turn into full time, that we would see a job for Abby in Chester, not an hour away from where we were living. Um, and that through those new jobs that we would see a significant um, increase in our annual income um, to support the things that we believe are on our hearts um, for God and give us the room to enjoy um, life a little. And um, as we were believing for these things, um, I really had a time of just prayer in, in the waiting, in the middle of it. Um, where I really felt God speak to me through Proverbs 3 verse 5, which is what I want to share with you. Um, and that is to trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. And that for me really in the middle of waiting was amazing. And God gave me a revelation of the when we're in the waiting, when we're in the middle of believing for a miracle, when we're in that middle icky part of we've had the faith for it, but we haven't seen it coming through, the, the best place for us to live is in trust and in a godly understanding, in a godly perspective. And the first part of it, which is trust in the Lord with all your heart, for me, speaks of being all in when i think and when we think about putting our heart and soul into something we think about putting every bit of strength that we have every little piece of energy nothing to spare pushing the chips into the middle of the table and saying i'm going to trust the lord with all of my heart with all that i have trusting can be really really tough especially if it's for the first time when trusting someone or something for the first time it can be difficult can't it um, but the great thing and the great thing that God showed me and we know about trust is that trust grows that every time we step out in faith and in trust um, in God and we see him come through that our measure of trust doesn't just grow but it doubles we can see uh, and just enough trust grow into enough trust and then we can see enough trust grow into a fearless trust and we all want to be living in a fearless trust that supports the dreams the visions the aspirations and that God's put in all of our hearts we all want to get to the place of fearless trust and I don't know about you but when me and Abby were believing for um, two new jobs, we were believing for a significant pay increase. Um, I felt really limited and a bit let down um, by the way that I could understand and perceive what we were believing for. The way that I saw um, how much we were asking versus the worldview I had or the, the experience I had that was saying that, I needed to go out and get those things that I needed to go and make something happen. I couldn't just believe and trust in God. I needed to go and get some, uh, get my hands stuck into something. And what God is saying and um, through what King Solomon writes in the second part, um, which is do not depend on your own understanding, is that we shouldn't live in our worldview or live in the way that we've done things in the past in the way that um, that shapes our perspective. 
But actually, we need to align our understanding with God's understanding, that we need to align our perspective with God's perspective, that we shouldn't stay in this place of my worldview, my understanding, my experience. Actually, we should invite God into it and ask him to show us how he sees what we're facing, how he sees what we're believing for. In what was amazing through our journey and what we were believing God for is that we were believing that in January we would walk into a brand new place, that we would have the two jobs, that we would have a significant um, pay rise in our annual income, that you know we would be able to do more and see more and um, live a bit more. And um, what was amazing through this journey of understanding the trust and inviting God into the understanding was we seen him come through. We seen him give us not two jobs, but three that we seen him provide us with not a little increase, but with a 50% increase in our finances. And I just want to encourage everybody listening to this. I want to encourage you where you're at in, in what you're believing for, that God knows and that God sees and that God understands. Put all of your trust in him. And when you feel like there isn't any left, pushing double. Ask God to align your understanding with his understanding of what you're believing for. Be encouraged that it's in the waiting, that it's in the icky, sticky bit, that God shapes us, that God grows and prepares us for what comes with the breakthrough. It doesn't matter if you're on day one, month six, year 10, wherever you're up to, however long you've been in this middle part for. God's miracle is around the corner. Learn the lessons, learn the what you need to learn whilst you're in the waiting. Put your trust in him. Align your perspective with his perspective. Allow your understanding to grow into God's understanding. Trust God. Lean on him and not on yourself. Ask God to come in, shape the way that you see what you're believing for and put all of your trust in him. Be encouraged. Have a great, great day. Thank you.